loin fight. Okay. All right. First off, Paulo Sebas from Argentina. Thank you for watching. He said, please say that in the next video. And look, Gert, we're now working on Guatemala San Sebastian. Look what one of my clodhopper employees did. They changed Pete's coffee to Pete's dragon. Who was that? Oh, it was Scott. Yeah, I see the... Wait a minute. Ah, wait a minute. There's a young man hiding behind this machine. There's my soldier. There's my boy. Wallace, this is your duct tape. Listen, this is a, a special... Well, not a special, another combo video. Look what we just finished. This was an overhaul for a customer. Tubing. Got this all running. See? See that nice effect up there? You've seen the other tubings that show that. Medium res monitor is gorgeous. Zero burn-in. Cabinet's in great shape. However, we had corners missing. They've been patched and touched up. Now, we have the Dissatron blue here. And this is the original blue that was still in beautiful shape. And look at the side art. It's very nice. Now look down here, back here. New power supply, obviously. And we, you just, wait, let's try that again here. There we go, okay. Uh, we sell the used power supplies for $7 each. If you ever need power supplies, we, they have to be in lots of five. We, we, that way they all fit in one box. 50 bucks for a box of five. Working fine, cleans the whistle power supply. Medium res, Wells Gardner, best chassis on planet Earth. Rebuilt, will last for how many more years, Kurt? 20, 30, 50? Who knows? And that, that's the man that did it. You know what he was doing? He was taking his t-shirts out to the car. We now have t-shirts. Oh. We are selling t-shirts. T-shirts. You got the shirt. The you got one that can hold up? I got one. Right there. Oh, Kurt, you can't use that finger on the air. Tony, did you get your shirt yet? Here, yeah, come on. Now look, we're only stocking two sizes. Extra large and medium, and which fit large. me perfect. Tied in pod large. Extra large, and we're also stocking two uh, X. They're black. See our logo? We have only the two X. You don't have to get that close, Frank. The two X's have pockets. The uh, we have so we have no pockets on two X and no pockets on X to large. There's no large, there's no mediums, and there's certainly no smalls, although I guess I could fit in a small. Anyway, they are for sale, and they are $18 plus the shipping, if you're interested. I'd have to know where you are, but I think we could send a parcel post, right, Frank? They're very nice. Oh, they're, they're a better grade than the usual ones. They were not made in China. Okay. Ah, almost forgot. We are now working on this game. I don't know where I put my coffee. It is ready. I showed this to you yesterday. This beautiful, gorgeous honey of a machine. It is a gold mine that we have done some neat upgrades to. Oh, and the usual upgrades. We've replaced the old glass high voltage power, uh, high voltage displays with brand new pin score system. Oh, <laughs> somebody's locked it. Frank, you did that on purpose. You knew I was gonna do this. So I could moan and groan. If I did it on purpose, I wouldn't have just handed you a screwdriver. I would've let you fuddle around with it. And give me my screwdriver back. Look. Because the, the uh, High voltage isn't used, it's all, it's all gone. We take all the parts off because they're completely unneeded. We have all new capacitors in the system that runs the five volts. 
We also uh, put the lift the battery here. See that little baby right there? That will make the board run forever. I have to take credit for lithium batteries. Gottlieb did them first, 1989, with their pinballs. But I was the first person, really, that started putting lithiums. Uh, in 1999, we started putting them into a lot of our games. By 2000, every machine we sold had lithium batteries, and we got rid of those crummy double A's. Do you know how many games we saved? Now, people say, oh, we'll just leave the double, the double A slots there, and we'll buy lithium double A's. Great idea. Mm. And when the person who gets the machine has the three lithium batteries go dead, what will they replace them with? Whatever is in the house. Yes, two batteries out of the remote <coughs> that are half dead. Whatever. Whatever. Time gonna tell the story. Gonna... It's my video. I can tell it as many times as I want, Frank. The people watching don't want to hear it over and over and over. Yes, again. but not everybody watches every video. Some we do. have 7,500 subscribers, but we seem to only get about 1,500 views in the first two weeks. So, what, what the hell happened to the other 6,000 people? You they have better say. things to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are all the LEDs. So the GI runs nice and cool. We have regular brand new 44s and all the other slots to light the strikes and the spares. And also the gameplay. Can't say that on the air. This surface on this is very nice. It's got minimal wear. Look at how fast it comes. There's no lubrication. Some of you knew what I was thinking. Beautiful game. By the way, uh, all the new models, they call the newer models, of course there are no new models left, all have volume pots inside the front door. So right in here is your volume control. So you can turn it louder if you have a party coming, and you can turn it down if you want to play late at night. Look, a brand new uh, uh, instruction card. Of course, we, we reprinted these. We have all new rubbers on the sides and in the back. All new pins. That whole drawer was removed, scrubbed, and cleaned. Is that a works in a drawer? Works in a drawer, yeah. No, I'm not going to. But that's too corny. I can't keep doing using that same thing. That was your video. You can do whatever you want. Frank, I don't keep reusing the same stupid gags like this. And works in a drawer TV design for ease of service. Let's see. All right, Frank, come back here. We have to get moving. This is the style I like that doesn't have the interconnect board. Oh, goody. Just a few cables, Frank. Just a few cables for a customer to connect. And then he's done, and it's as good as new. And I think that's about it. Oh, listen, whenever you put these together, you always get down here and look up and make sure none of the wires will get tangled up with that motor. Watch it, okay? So you don't want anything. So you need to dress your wiring so it's away from the moving motors, okay? Okay, that's very, very important. And then you will assure yourself of a lifetime of no trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you some more games we're getting ready. Actually, look, we're going to do a separate video on this. Look how this is coming along. Look at this really dynamic game. And do it. we have not started the art now. Just, Frank, look. See, we haven't done anything to the front or the sides. This is all part of the extensive TNT amusements restoration. So this will get painted and sanded by our Steven, who's done this beautiful job on this game. That is coming. Look, we got the sides bare. It's as smooth as a baby's ass. And this will soon be painted high gloss black. Kurt, I didn't appreciate that eye look. Did you see what he did? Okay, let's let's move on to the next game. 
You know, I think I should go next door and see how those boys are making out with the crating of the shuffle alley. Aha! Now, look at that beautiful pallet that we have custom built. Gonna get smashed. Well, yes, we had a shipping company who damaged the last one. These have to be built to order, and they are two by fours. And baby, they are built to last, unless, of course, it gets dropped off the back end of the truck. <sighs> Look, right there, that is, what game is that one? Flintstones. That's the Flintstones, that's going out. And look, it's still here. A Walking Dead Premium. Still in the box. We got an Adams Family overhaul. Here's a wildfire that we would like to sell to somebody. It's the game of the future. Now look at this monster. I decided I'd walk over here to see if there's anything we can sell cheap. Now here is a Tekken 4 in this gigantic-ass cabinet. Uh, there's no logic for it and no television. Uh, but this is 200. Boy, a beautiful cabinet, though. Somebody wants to buy a beautiful cabinet. What else is over here, Jonathan, that we could sell cheap? Um, hmm. Look. Oh, boy, what the hell is this? Look at this coin door. Now that, it's a Segus. We must have gotten this one on trade. Oh, this is a mess. I'm not... Well, well, we'll sell this as a cabinet. We'll take the monitor out. Forget that. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. Oh my, you know what this is? This is a final fight. But guess what cabinet it's in? You know what cabinet this is, guys? This is a laser disc cabinet. I think this was um, uh, Astron Belt. I think this is an Astron Belt cabinet. I think it is. Interesting. Well, does somebody want to buy a Final Fight? Did this game work? We get these games traded in. Oh my gosh. I don't know either. I don't know. But look, uh, if Final Fight, we plug it in, the power's up and works. Uh, you know, you can buy that in the Astron Belt cabinet for 350 How's that? Uh, here's a, a Simpson bowling, no logic board, but we'll sell the cabinet for 200 How's that? Uh, there's a golden tee. I know that monitor's bad, and I know we needed the, um, the chips out of the track with the, uh, um, oh gosh. The optics out of the trackball. Do you see what's going on with me? I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Now look, here is a Bad Duds factory cabinet. Look at that. It does work. Everything, it's all, all there. Uh, you can have that for 500. How's that? No, it's not, I realize. Now, I do have an Exidy gun game. Somebody has actually protected the overlay somewhat with this plastic, but I have a whole stack of clean Exidy boards that I want to test in that, so I don't really want to dump it unless we can test it. Oh, here's a Daytona 2 that's supposed to work. Beautiful sit-down driving game. I don't know, how's 800 sound? If it works, it should work. You know, this stuff is still sitting here. I bought out, look at all this stuff here, see that? I bought this comp this guy passed away, and his wife called and says, I got all this stuff. We bought everything. I, I still haven't gone through. We've gone through about half of it. Okay, I'm now I'm really depressed. Why did I come over here? Oh, for you boys. They're still crating. They're still crating. <sighs> Pretty nice song you're playing here.
see? Only the best equipment possible. That's right. So this is going out tomorrow. And they better come today to get this Flintstones. That guy is having a stroke. Ah, what's the matter? Oh, is he all right? He's having a stroke. See, you know, you know, that's the only video I can find online of somebody having a stroke that's not sickening. <laughs> well, we had quite a bit of rain today. A flash rain shower. You can see our sky is still pretty dark. Ah, the new car. I had to get a new car. The other one had that dent in it. Uh, and the recyclers cleared a whole bunch of stuff away. But we already started a new box. It's the old casters, metal stuff. We put that out there so it gets recycled. The monitors, all that, all that good stuff gets re recycled, which is a good thing. Okay, boys, I'm back. I'm exhausted. Uh, now, look, we can see Wallace working on the flip side, rebuilding the base. These people let these bases go completely to hell, don't they, Wallace? Yes, sir. Completely to hell. So he has started this uh, Strike Master. Now, do you see this? Can you imagine a machine getting that awful? Now, the good news is we are putting a brand new board in it. Brand new. We actually have one. So when that game is finished, it's going to be beautiful. You can see we've gotten the customer asked for this Citron Blue. We decided we're going to leave that sticker on it. Eh, partially just to annoy him. But uh, just to annoy me. Kurt is working on my baby, baby, and I mean my baby, Pac-Man. This is one of only four left to exist in the world. This is going to the Franklin Institute tomorrow. We're going to have a video on that later. And Stephen has started the Monte Carlo. Play field is almost done. We had to put in brand new bit bases. We just got the last base today. Doesn't this look beautiful? Brand new. The centerpiece. And it still is wired up for the light bulb system. Still farting over there? Who's that? You can't say that word in my video. Too late. Okay. Well, listen, we've had enough. This is a short combo video, but it's long enough. So uh, we will bid you adieu. Uh, more, hopefully, will be coming before the Franklin Institute show, which is Friday, two days away. A very special event. <sighs> yes, and I think I'm just going to fade away. Good night. Now, clear out!